What an ending. Subskyle in the mix on BBC, introducing in Suffolk and Norfolk. They are a must ambient British EDM DJ and music producer, only starting their musical journey in 2020, as far as we're aware. I've actually got Subskyle with me, so we can find out a little bit more information. First of all, thank you so much for that mix. It was such a vibe. Right. We're loving it here. Um, tell me a little bit about how it feels to listen back to it and it's knowing it's on the radio yeah it feels pretty insane that i've done a dj mix on bbc radio suffolk and norfolk yeah it's pretty crazy that is that is ah it's a big thing it's so cool um and the artists that you played as well they're probably super happy that you've picked their song it's a big <laughs> folder and you've picked their tracks out of yeah. everything in there what do you think of the songs in that folder and like of local producers out here well they were just really groovy and a lot of them were just so great and i chose my personal favorite ones the best ones to put into the mix <laughs> the easiest ones to mix yeah as well. yeah do you think if i said could you make the mix half an hour do you think it would have still been easy because the songs are so good um it, it definitely would have been a lot harder <laughs> than a 15 minute mix yeah well you, you managed to fit Possibly the most we've had, and I, I potentially think the most we've had, which is very, very good. Um, you you mix them well; it's so seamless, and you took us through a little dance floor journey, which we all want. That we all want the dance. Yeah. Um, now I want to know more about you, Subscar. How did your DJ career and journey start? So in lockdown, many DJs and producers are like releasing work online. Um, pretty much every DJ out there was were doing. DJ sets mm -hmm. on Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> yep, true. And lots of music was being released because a lot of people had free time and I just saw a lot of music online and it just inspired me to become a DJ and producer myself. I started my career kind of late 2020. Nice. So were you tapping into some of the streams and the, the, yeah, the lives yeah. that people were doing? Yeah. Were there any ones that you can remember that were like moments you like, yeah, I really... Can do um, this. or specific producers djs well i really like one called slushy mm -hmm. he's great i've heard of slushy yeah i've yeah i've actually t talked to him before nice check you out yeah because you're very good on the socials actually mm -hmm. very yeah. active i have noticed that so you so you started you know lockdown was happening lots of people um getting into their kind of creative sphere but then the other thing that comes with it is you need the kit so tell me a little bit about your, your first bit of mixing and or producing and what kit you were using. So I first got like a little Newmark party mix <laughs> and gradually throughout the years I've been upgrading nice. and now I have like a big Pioneer setup. Oh, cool. And it's great. Check you out. <laughs> uh, now, what I, I love is that, um, yeah, this week the applications for Ipswich Music Day went out, which we will talk a little bit about later on because I know lots of people want to perform there. But thanks to people like you and Jake Butiman, who we heard, um, you know, in your mix, they have now opened applications properly for DJs. How does it feel to be so young and so early in your career, but also pioneering such a big thing for the Ipswich town yeah it's great um I mean there weren't many DJs last year there are a few it's great that we'll probably have more this year yeah hope so you paved the way mm -hmm. open that door a little bit um now since you know being you know in your journey of producing and DJing do you have a favorite of the two producing or DJing I think I prefer DJing a lot more mm -hmm. just like the live aspect of it yeah and just mixing tracks together mm -hmm. it just feels really nice when you get two tracks perfectly <laughs> on time mixed together that is it's a beautiful thing to hear so i can yeah. imagine the feeling now um i read out your bio a minute ago and i said the masked dj tell me a little bit about the mask that you wear so it was mainly inspired by marshmallow i guess um i just thought it was a really cool thing to have like it gives it gives my like it gives me sort of like i don't know it just makes me stand out from the crowd yeah for sure definitely um it's good to meet you as well because when mm -hmm. i did see you performing on stage you did have the mask and i was yeah. like i rec i recognized you because of the mask yeah now, had you not had a mask because i was so far away i'd be like oh this sounds good and maybe vibed with it but not 
made that connection so yeah it's really good really mm-hmm. good branding nice one there um well thank you so much for joining us today are you looking for some gigs are you looking for some collaborations we've got the radio right now what call out would you like to make um i definitely like to do some gigs this year i haven't got any lined up at the moment but yeah i'd, I'd love to have some gigs okay. <laughs> okay so if you are looking for a dj if you're looking for someone to open your festival, to close your festival, if you've got a dance floor somewhere, Subscale is out there looking to DJ. Where's the best place people can get in touch with you? Um, well, people can email me, subscale at gmail.com, or you can, people can just go on my socials. Um, pretty much all my socials are Subscale, spelled <laughs> S-U-B-S-K-I-L-E. Can we talk about the name? Where did yeah. that come from? Um, I just randomly thought of it one day. <laughs> I can't really remember what the actual reason behind it was, <laughs> but I just thought it was a really cool name. It is a very cool name. Um, now, one thing I love to ask everyone that comes on the show is give us a local recommended artist. Now, it's quite different with DJs because we've given you so many songs and you've picked 10 of the best ones from that folder so this is kind of a a, i see like a kind of a different vibe an artist that maybe isn't a producer or a dj and you've given me Braden j tell me a little bit about how you know Braden. so Braden j played right before me at ipswich music day last year Mm -hmm. and i just thought his tracks were just really really groovy and yeah yeah he's He's local as well. Yeah, so. such a vibe. What I do remember, though, from his set was the speakers could not handle the bass. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very <laughs> loud. Boy. I was like, oh, Braden, the bass is amazing. But it's, 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 they're not ready. The speakers are not ready. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. That's We're going to okay. get into a bit of Braden J as picked by Subskyle. Make sure you check him out at S-U-B-S-K-I-L-E everywhere wherever you get your socials from this is Braden J with Scarred on BBC introducing and then very soon I have a first upload first play <laughs> <laughs>